This is a story about a man who helped the students of a little community come together in thought and spirit to better appreciate life and the beauty of the planet we share. My name is Miranda Sakshek. I'm a senior at Amro High School. Amro is a happy little rural town in central Wisconsin with about 3,200 people. Fewer than 400 students go to my school, but it seems like more because many parents and grandparents went there too, and we are all very close. In the winter of 2010, I met a person who would change my heart and my life forever. This person is Bruce Fowler. He was my advanced biology instructor. Within the first few days of class, I realized, and the consensus was, that this teacher was the best we had ever had. He was the smartest person I knew, and his love for nature was crazy. He taught biology, advanced biology, AP biology, and environmental science. His passion for helping us understand, appreciate, and love our earth and its blessings was evident in all his words and his actions. He challenged us to see things differently and even to see things that were only imaginable. Mr. Fowler's pursuit to educate his students always included exposing us to realities that could only be understood with our books closed and even outside of classroom walls. For the last six years, Mr. Fowler has been driving awareness that learning doesn't have to be a function of the classroom, that it is easier to learn if the classroom is a function of what is to be discovered. And to that end, many of his science students have worked together to assemble his dream of an outdoor classroom. Outside of school walls and ceilings, students are free to use all of our senses to absorb the wonders of nature while we learn about the sciences of nature itself. Inside of a school, a cricket is generally an unwelcome guest. In Mr. Feller's classroom, all living things are inviting hosts of a world for us to be taught. Within walking distance of the building, a meek area of grounds is the focus of his dream. The area includes a small prairie and a student-built brick half-circle that seats about 30. In this open outdoor arena, the winds blow, traffic is quiet, and birds can be seen flying miles away. While the nobleness of this dream drove students to volunteer their time and energy, the school's leaky roofs, computer needs, and typical indoor necessities diverted attention that might have helped to maintain our little piece of heaven. The outdoor classroom slowly became overcome with weeds and neglect. What any person would consider being a praiseworthy setting for teaching and learning somehow became an afterthought. In August 2011, Mr. Fuller was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and became ill very rapidly. The disease stopped him from teaching, robbing Amro High of a great educator. Knowing Mr. Fuller's time was short and under direction of his replacement, Mrs. Drosty, my classmates and I began campaigning for donations to finish the work that was started six years prior. The money raised was used to purchase a few materials and saplings. Within weeks, students and volunteers expeditiously worked to improve the seating area, foundation, and surrounding landscape. Mr. Fowler was driven up the curb and across the field to see the upgrade to his outdoor classroom and to see his favorite trees planted. Although he was too weak to leave the car, he was clearly surprised and moved by this collective support of his dream. Tears came to his eyes as he took my hand and told me that he loved it. Caught up in the emotions, his wife shared, had he been given one single wish, it would have been this. The following week, just three months after his diagnosis, Mr. Fowler passed away. If there was ever a generation needed to step up and take ownership of discovering solutions for environmental problems, it is our generation. We get that, my school gets that, and we passionately want to lead those initiatives. While our outdoor classroom could be viewed as an unnecessary stage in a little school's yard, we imagine it to be the place where an ecosystem can be studied and explored. As a center for learning, it can set an example for every school and every generation to duplicate, to adapt, and to adapt within their own campus. Environmental awareness and responsibility should be sewn into the fabric of all learning. Every school, every class, every grade, every subject, every student. And every student should be a teacher. That's our dream now. That's what Mr. Feller gave to us. But it will not happen without help, without expertise, without resources, without attention. The reality is that without assistance and direction, we will not make this giant leap. We will not be able to attain and build the example for other schools to follow, a model started by a big thought leader at a little school in Amro, Wisconsin. It's a brilliant dream, and we are asking for your support to build it. If you are compelled to help us, please contact me directly by email. Your friend, Miranda Sakchek, and all of the students and followers of Mr. Fowler.